Hi, I'm Brother Leo Mary, and in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 128 to 130, the Church teaches us about the unity of the Old and New Testaments, how they are bound together. And when we think about the Old Testament, we can think about God the Father. When we think about the New Testament, we can think about God the Son. I want to compare this with my own brother. He's a father. He has a little son, Alan. And so every time Gregory tells me about his son, he's always pointing to Alan. He says he can walk now. He, can, he says the word to and stresses to. And so he's always telling me about Alan. And Alan is going to fulfill the wishes of his father. And so when we think about the Old Testament, we think about God the Father telling us everything we need to know about His Son, Jesus. And so God becomes man, Jesus Christ, and then He fulfills everything the Father has told us about Him. And so we read in the, in the Old Testament, as the church says, Christians therefore read the Old Testament in the light of Christ crucified and risen. So everything points to Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. The Father is telling us about His Son. And so when we read the Old Testament like Moses, we see Moses passing through the Red Sea, leading the Israelite people from slavery into freedom. And then we see Jesus Christ, who Moses is a type of Jesus. Jesus leads us from slavery to sin into freedom. And so when we read the Old and New Testament, we need to think about God the Father telling us everything we need to know about His Son Jesus. We call this prophecies. In the prophets prophesied about Jesus, and Jesus fulfilled all those prophecies. So the next time you read the Old and New Testament, think about father and son, how a father loves his son and how the son loves his father, and they're in unity.